humanity or whoever else is watching. My room is clean. It's the middle of the night, but I feel like you can still see what's happening. It's an unboxing because I'm insane. Also, I guess I can give you like a little tour so of the beauty room now that's clean ish. That's my door stopper. It's an empty bottle of wine. It's a painting. Some people that I love. Beanie Babies and uh, Pokemons. All of them. That little thing right here. That used to be a snail and it's broken. That's confusing. And this is my little normally used products. So I've got my foundations, highlighters, powders, etc. Eyeliners. Palettes. More palettes. That's stuff I gotta try. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, that's my giveaway drawer. And then that's stuff I don't use very often. And then this is my desk. And then I have this little guy over here, which is actually where I wanna store my palettes but I need letter sorters first. And then this was our TV stand where I took it for more storage here. That's my trash can or trash bag. And then this is my wall. So yeah. <laughs> That's that, but my Ulta Beauty package came in today. If y'all saw my live stream yesterday, you know I thought it was coming in yesterday and I'm really upset, but here it is. Beer of the day is Stone IPA. Ah, delicious, delicious. Okay, let's get this open then. for shit. Yay, bitches. Okay, and that's this. My work wants me to transfer to Cedar Hill. H&M. And I'm waiting for them to call me back. Tell me how much money they can pay me. This menu is an out outrageous there's some air things. Air cups. Throw it in a trash can. Okay. I'm doing really it. My trash smells like makeup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Let me take everything out first. Easy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You don't even know. some looking in here I got a sample fragrance on like something you get in a magazine bullshit and I got some other things Ooh. Ooh. okay let's see I got a Clinique sample and a professional sample nice stay matte oil free has peg 10 but I'm gonna try it anyways this is a Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Foundation sample. Look, I just complained about never getting cosmetics and there one is right there. And then I got this Poor Professional Smoothing Face Primer. Like this, so that's exciting. Um, okay, no samples were not complete failures for once. Look at my drawers go. It's a stroller. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, what's next? Oh, let's check this out. I got this Sleek Makeup Fierce Felt Tip Liner. Because I just love to try liners, because I'm insane. Let's see if I can open it. Alice Rose, if you're watching this, tweezers make all the difference, girlfriend, on everything. This is like intensely. If I don't have tweezers, I would not be able to even open this. I would stab myself. Ow, I stab myself again. It's the middle of the night. I've been stabbing myself. This is really intense. Oh yeah, there we go. Boosh. Get that 
tweezer action going on. All right. It's like a what if product gets into eyes rinse well with water. I'm sorry, but this is a liner. Why would it not get into your eyes? It's odd. Always apply in a careful and sanitary manner to healthy eyes only. I have pretty healthy eyes. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not bleeding on me excessively. Okay, it's really black. Let's see if it goes matte. It's supposedly, I think, waterproof. It's called Zodiac Black 1240. Is it waterproof? I really thought it was. Um, but I don't know. Well, we'll try it, of course, because that's what we do here. We try shit. All right, next. One more drugstore product, and then I have two expensive fee, expensive-ish products. So this is the Essence Holo Wow Dewy Lip Shine. Focus, 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 focus. It smells kind of like, um, what's that stuff? Those little hard candies that are shaped like fruits. Um, ooh. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, the lighting is terrible. Oh, but it's cute. It's It's got like pink reflex, but it's clear. Okay. It's itching a little bit. So is this other part of my hand. So maybe I'm just having itches, who knows. Cool, all right, we tried it. Well, we did that. Well, allergy tested on our hand while we were doing this video. Can you even see it? Shh, yeah, okay. It looks wet. I mean, it's a gloss. Can't really pick up the pinkness to it. Maybe I can take a picture. Okay, and then next, we've got the plushies palette from Lime Crime. This is the orangey one. I forget what that's called. Let's see. I'm sure it says it. <laughs> um, so it comes in this little clearish container. And then this is the palette. It's so cute. And it's the, oh, fresh squeezed, obviously. This is the back. In case anybody gives a shit. And now, the initial opening is so beautiful. Wow, that's so confusing. Look, this is like pink. So it really like adjusts the colors. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't look like a bright yellow. But there it is, kablam. All right, we're gonna totally swatch this right now. Jackfruit, orange juice, oh God. Mango and dragon fruit. I'm talking about some pigmentation, hem henty. What? I mean, those were terrible swatches to be honest. Well, look how bright they are. Secondary swatches, still gorgeous. Wow, okay. That's exciting. Should I do brush swatches too? I don't know, people do that sometimes. Like swatches on a brush. Does anybody care? Does anybody even know what time it is? Okay, so I just today for the first time heard Ariana Grande's Aria, no, Ariana Grande's God is a Woman, and it's phenomenal. But all tea, all shade, I think that James Charles' cover of it was better. Except maybe the like little rap section, but I don't think she did that great either. So it's like, whatever. You did okay. You're not a rap artist. You're not Cardi B. You're not Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. All right, we're going to do it with the brush. It's H&M powder. No, H&M crease shading brush. And we're going to go into jackfruit three times. One, two, three. I don't know. I hope you can tell that there is a little bit of kickback, but nothing outrageous. It's a terrible
terrible spot to do it. Okay. Uh, I guess we can do this. Where? Here? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's a little powdery. So you get a little bit of that dusty feel. This is a gorgeous yellow though. You can't even see it. Okay, there you can see it now. I'm sorry the lighting is so terrible. That's that. I'm gonna clean my brush off on my little color switch pan from Ulta Beauty. And we're gonna go into juice, orange juice three times. One, two, three. Same amount of kickback, nothing insane. You really can't see that yellow. And we're gonna do a little, little swatchy mix swatchers then. So with a br like with a fluffy brush, it's definitely not as pigmented, but it's seems to be blending well. That one was a little patchy, but I'm not mad about it. You can definitely build it up. I mean, that initial pigmentation says it's gonna be okay. Then we're gonna go into mango. One, two, three. That one seemed to have a little bit more kickback. We'll see how it looks. I don't know why they called that mango, but it is gonna be a beautiful, like peachy transition shade for sure. I'm just cleaning that off. Okay, that essence gloss is sticky for sure. I'm not surprised, but one, two, three. Whoa, that had a lot more. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, and then this is dragon fruit. Oh yeah, like you can see the particles. Again, though, I think that, I mean, they're called like soft focus shadows. I feel like you could really like do them with a flat brush, maybe even wet it and get that intense payoff. But I feel like the point of it is to be more diffused so that you can blend it like really easily and it not be overpowering. <sighs> Although they say that in the description, every picture that I've set, seen that they've released is like a super pigmented version, so. I mean, we'll see, right? I'm gonna do one more finger swatch next to it so you can compare. I'll just blend it out a little bit. It just goes on better with the finger. That one though, I don't know about that orange. It's pretty bad. Do you see that? I probably can't. Mango. Not bad, that one's really pretty. And then, clean my fingers off. I'm going to go into dragon fruit. Oh, looks so pretty. Yeah, it's kind of like streaky. But like I said, it blends really well. I feel like that, it looks really pretty. This orange is a little bit weird. All right, well, we're gonna play with that on the eyes for sure. Maybe that's what we'll wear tomorrow, but probably not, because we have the Zulu palette. Now I'm about to go quietly. <laughs> Guys, I posted a picture on my Instagram, and you can really see how I highlighted my ears. Not today, that's just the light. Um, <laughs> but you can see how I highlighted my ears yesterday, and it was intense. I want more calories, but I've already had more than enough. So that's the plushies um, fresh squeeze palette. I like it so far. I like it better than the pocket candies. It's a little bit closer to their Venus palette formula, but it's still not. I mean, the Venus palette formula is so good. Why don't they just make every color? Get on that. Except they just sold their company, so who knows if I'm even gonna keep buying stuff from them? Although I don't know anything about the company that bought them, like Tenagram or something like that. I know guys, if anybody guys, if any of you guys know anything about this random company that Lime Prime sold off to, let me know. I mean, apparently Dodier is still going to be like on the board of directors, but we're like creative. Who is that? Why are you in your house? Go away. You know, like creative director or whatever. So like a lot of it's still going to be her ideas. I guess she just doesn't have to take care of all the nitty gritty details and shit. But like, what is this brand? I need to find out. 
I need to find out. There's also no disclaimer saying that they're not eye safe, which is interesting since they're vegan. Um, but now for the star of the show, the Zulu palette. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm gonna say the Zulu by Juvius. It's got a little seal on it, rude. Cut that open with some tweezers. Cause that's how we roll. Uh, uh, uh. Noise. Girl, I got like pink stuff with my hand. My wife just lost the cat out back. She's a sucker. I'm like, it's gonna rain, so if he jumps the fence, he's gonna have a terrible time out there in the neighborhood. That's all I'm saying about that. That's all I'm saying. Y'all need to tell me, the darling army needs to tell me when to do these live streams. I'm just doing them when I have time, but like if there's a time that's good for you, let me know, I can try to make it happen, you know? That's the unicart in. Art is life. The ambiance of the Zulu eyeshadow palette takes on a new character. It exemplifies the rich arts of the Ndebele people of South Africa embodied with colorful symmetry and precision, a limitless expression of self through eccentric hues, earth tones, and exotic metallic shades. Noise cruelty free, created and formulated in the United States but made in Puerto Rico? It's PRC, I don't know what that is. Okay, it has a little um, bubble wrap inside of the box, which is kind of nice to keep it extra safe. And then this is again, the holographic kind of view, the Zulu by Juvia's, and ta -da! oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I have been coveting this palette since I first, I think the first person I saw use this was Nikki Tutorials and Lord, just look at the colors. If these swatch bad, I'm gonna be so mad. I have been coveting this for so long. We're gonna do some swatches right here. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know what's wrong with me a lot. Um, so let's do it. Do the shades have names? The shades do not have names. So we're just gonna go from the top, orange there, green there, pink there. Okay, so that's the order we're gonna do them in. Kinda makes me sad. These pans are gigantic. What the fuck? This palette's only 20 bucks. You get nine shades and look how big this freaking pan is. Like, what can I even compare it to? This is a blush. It's like a little sample blush and it has how much in it this is 1.5 grams in it like it's bigger than that i'm pretty sure the only thing that's kind of weird is the back of the palette is blank so it doesn't repeat the information that's on the actual box 1.14 ounces or 32.4 grams but i don't know how much per product itself okay we gotta, we gotta do some swatches because I just can't live without doing it tonight. That's why I'm coming at you in the middle of the night. Okay. It's not like the most um, buttery formula. Excuse me. I take it back. I don't care that the texture is not super soft. That is the most amazing situation I've ever been in. Okay, now we're gonna go in the yellow. Girl, I have to do extra long swatch. Okay, the yellows don't show up well in this lighting. See, they feel kind of scratchy. But like, okay. You have that little finger moment there where it's like too pigmented. This one, hmm. This one is not, I don't think, the best brown I've ever tried. But girl, we're gonna do some looks with this palette. Don't even question it. Don't even wonder. Who am I? I don't know. 
Okay, we're doing the green teal shade next. Hi, wifey. You okay? Girl, look at how this just swatched all the way down. Wow. Look how pretty that is. Usually I do swatch it like ends right there. It's not even done. Ah, oh, okay. It's he got out again. I know, I heard. I told everybody about it already. That is such a pretty freaking color. It is pretty. We're swatching. I'm gonna make dinner. I love you. Okay, love you too, mama. Oh my Jesus. Y'all can't even see how pretty that is, but it's gorgeous. Okay, we'll clean off our fingers again. So I just use like a little bliss makeup wipe to clean them off. And then I like wipe them off on my pants. Just to be honest, that's the technical way to do swatches, all right? It's the best way. Now we're dipping into like a rose gold shimmer. Again, it's just like, what the fuck? Not the softest formula I've ever felt, but like, look how pretty it is. I'm like holding the back of my head. If I had hair, I'd be squeezing it. Okay, magenta, okay. Just like taking it all away. You see that? That's outrageous. Okay. One more shade is this purple. This could make or break it. Sometimes purples are terrible. I mean, it kept going. It's a little patchy. We're not gonna be mad about it. Honestly, I was expecting this palette to kind of blow my mind. Maybe I gave it too high of an expectation. I mean, it's gorgeous, obviously. You can see it's gorgeous, but I was just expecting more, I guess. I guess we'll do some brush swatches too, why not? Because we can. Because we can do it, we will do it. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's see, can I use this brush? Oh, I'm gonna use the same H&M brush and just clean it off with my little color switch, honey. Okay. Those are gorgeous. Honestly, they're really pretty. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Oh my god, where is the color, honey? Okay, that's a little bit that's a little nervous, eh? Okay. One, two, three. Where's the color? I'm not even tapping off. Oh, I'm mad. Is this how you're gonna perform, honey? Is this what, is this reality? That is so upsetting, like look at the difference. <sighs> okay, I'm not even gonna continue because that's making me mad. It's making me super mad. Maybe it's just the wrong type of brush. Maybe you need to use a flat brush, right? I don't know. Um, let's see. What can I try? I'm literally crying a tear. I don't want to return this palette. Okay, no. Yeah, we use this little Morphe. M508 brush, tiny, okay? And we're just gonna swizzle it in the pan. Okay, we got pigment. We're tapping it off. There's still color there, okay? Please be, please be better. Okay, all right. We are like, we need a flat brush to function. Pigment, got it. Oh no. Like you can't fluff this in your crease? What the heck? This is, uh, it's pretty though. I mean, I don't know. What? This is literally performing like a drugstore palette, like a bad drugstore palette. I'm upset. This green color is so pretty and so upsetting to me. Okay, shimmer, maybe. See, that doesn't go very far, but you could probably build that pretty nice. Really, really a 
that's all I'm getting. You can't even see it. Oh my god. What? That one has some color to it for sure. That is purple. That is not what I was expecting. I'm like literally depressed right now. So I'll just go cry in a corner. Well, you know what? Sometimes swatches are lies. Although, honestly, I don't think I've ever swatched anything that came out that bad. Okay. But it is a really stiff formula, so maybe you just really need to go in with a flat brush and wet it, right? Because there's like, I haven't blown off this palette. There's like nothing. I just dug into the um, shimmers a little bit with my brush, but there's like literally zero kickback, so maybe that's why. Oh, darlings, that is a little bit nervousing to me for sure. Y'all know I don't play though. I will take it back and get something better if I have to. But I mean, we're gonna do a look with it. Do some really colorful cut crease. That's uh, pretty ish. Tomorrow I work one to ten, so I may either record or live stream tomorrow morning. If y'all would prefer a recording or a live stream, let me know down below. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know on Instagram. Let me know on my Facebook. That's all at I'm a Pluralist. Become a Patreon. You got to say in what I want to do. What? You got to say in everything that I do. I can change the award tiers to make them tailored to you. I just picked some stuff that I thought people would like. There's still a giveaway going through August 1st, so don't forget to get into that. You do have to live in the contiguous United States. The United St I can't talk. You have to live in the contiguous United States. You see my cat? That's Heimdall. Hello, baby cutie. He's trying to get into something bad. Look at his mama locked him in here. Ha ha ha. Um, is there anything else? That was the whole unboxing. It was really like a letdown. The other products were better. <sighs> it's really disturbing. I'm gonna try this professional from Benefit though, because it has been on my mind. But this is this the original one? I don't it has the picture of the newer version, like the pearl version. I shouldn't say it's pearl and it's not pink. Pores instantly appear smaller with the poor professional. That's so cute. All right, guys. I don't know what's happening. Um, I think that's the end. It's time to finish my beer and go to sleep. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's live stream or video, depending on how it works out. Okay, bye.